Right in our backyard, Dominion Energy crews are installing the first pieces of metal as part of the process to build dozens of wind turbines just miles away from the Virginia Beach oceanfront. This process started last month. The crews have been hard at work every single day. Casey Baylor was out on the water with a look at the progress. More than 25 miles off the shores of Virginia Beach is the site where Dominion Energy hopes to be the source of clean energy. It has been decades in the making. In the distance, two wind turbines are already in motion. Meanwhile, several others are being planted across the seabed. We're in the process of installing uh, monopiles. Monopiles are part of the foundation of the wind turbines. They are thick metal tubes sticking out of the ocean. At least 10 of them are already in place with the help of a vessel called Orion. It has a lifting capacity of 4,000 tons. Its current operation is to do the monopile installation. This is Orion, which transfers six monopiles from the Portsmouth Marine Terminal all the way to this project site. Now the goal here is to install at least one monopile per day. This effort comes with multiple safety measures for both the crew and marine life. Double big bubble curtain around the uh, bottom of the uh, monopile when it's being installed. It also consists of crews watching the water. Basically three dedicated uh, vessels that have protected species observers on them. And they'll alert the team to halt construction when they see certain animals out in the water. Most importantly, the team is only installing these monopiles during a specific time of the year, hoping to avoid mammals like the North Atlantic right whale traveling through the area. Only piling during the summer when we know that they have uh, moved out of the area. The goal is to install at least 90 foundations by the end of the year. Those foundations consist of monopiles and pin piles to support their substation. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. And Dominion Energy leaders will stop monopile construction at the end of October. That work will then pick back up in May of 2025.